Good evening and welcome to the School Zone. I'm Phyllis Schrag, your host, and this is the week of January 23rd. Tonight, we will visit our newest elementary school, see how construction is coming on Memorial Middle School, and learn more about the school district's program for students from homeless families. We start with a tour of Annie Sullivan Elementary. With the completion of Annie Sullivan, Sioux Falls has 24 elementary schools serving nearly 9,000 children. Annie Sullivan opened last fall with an enrollment of more than 500 students grades kindergarten through five. When Annie Sullivan was designed, technology was included in the plan from the ground up. This video tour will show you how technology is used in the daily learning process at Annie Sullivan. Annie Solomon Elementary School. Thanks to the love and dedication in the form of teacher, as Annie Solomon was called, Helen Keller, a young child without sight, hearing, or normal speech, had a chance to learn, to explore, to overcome barriers in ways that very few children of her time would ever know. A miracle took place at the water pump in Keller's garden when she realized that things had names and that she could use those names to communicate ideas. One day, Annie Sullivan and Helen, her pupil, walked to the pump in the garden. Teacher placed Helen's hand under the spout and pumped water into it, at the same time spelling the word W A T. E R. Suddenly, as if a light had been switched on in her mind, Helen realized that the sign represented the water flowing into her hand. That living word, Helen said later on, awakened my soul, gave it light, hope, joy, set it free. That's our vision for all the children who attend Annie Sullivan Elementary School. Hands-on learning to promote students' growth. At Annie Sullivan Elementary School, we are committed to developing successful learners at all ages. Our goals are to guide students to become responsible for themselves, use resources and technology to help all students to be successful, in basic and advanced academic skills and knowledge, and to guide our students in selecting thinking and problem-solving processes to resolve simple and more complex issues. Using the foot footprint of John Harris Elementary School, Annie Sullivan Elementary uh, Center centers around the library, integrates technology into the curriculum, provides flexible classroom arrangements with some movable walls and common areas for all students to meet, allows youngsters with handicapping conditions to be integrated into regular classrooms, and incorporates a community center named the Kenny Anderson Community Center, center for the city commissioner who passed away for persons of all ages to use this facility. This facility on the Christina K. Lacey Homestead is a jointly funded venture with the Park and Recreation Department. The gym has been expanded. There are community meeting rooms, an area for serving food in the community center, and later there will be a 14,000 square foot branch library and the library will be connected to the school facility. Annie Sullivan Elementary School truly is a community learning center for all ages. The facility truly represents the spirit of Helen Keller's teacher 
Annie Sullivan. Annie Sullivan offers some unique opportunities for us with the technology. For one thing, because it was built after we had a five-year plan in place that was going to use some of the advanced technology options that are available uh, in our time, we've incorporated many of those things into the building from having computer labs and computers in each classroom that are all interconnected so that they can communicate back and forth, video systems and, and sound systems that allow us to communicate throughout the building, many things like that that were really advantageous for us and allow the school district to uh, test them and to pilot them here at Annie Sullivan. We're sure we didn't do everything perfectly, but it will give us a good chance to find out how things really work. That coupled with a staff that was selected for this building that really has a high interest in technology and using technology for students so that they can learn about the technology and also so that staff can use that same uh, technology to help kids learn, to learn in ways that we can't use otherwise. So we have here at uh, Annie Sullivan some unique opportunities. Uh, there are uh, considerable effort going into staff development, into training, and working with the staff and trying to find ways to use the computers. As you'll see, there are groups of students working at computers in virtually every room in the building available as an option for the teacher that we really haven't been able to do anywhere else in the district. We're real interested to find out how this works and to see if it's a, a model that we want to use for future uh, building and for retrofitting older buildings. We're using technology in all areas of our curriculum. Our schedule works out so in the morning hours we have language arts. We're doing reading on the computer with the CD-ROM disc, discus books. We're also typing in our spelling words. We're doing word processing for both writing and language. In the afternoon, we're doing math and problem solving on the computer. Our social studies program in third grade is the study of communities, and we'll be using Nigel's world quite a bit for that. Technology in the classroom, the use of the computers, the use of the TV, the laser discs, and all that we have access to is just another tool for the children to learn. It's a new, it's an exciting tool. They're growing up with computers and they'll be using them as adults and it's so good for them to have this basis. It can help you learn, like if you can't figure out a word, you can just look up in the dictionary and you can figure out that word and what's it, what it means. It was easier to type the first letters in than the last because you know the alphabet better than the last words of the alphabet. In my classroom, I have a lot of activities planned this year that will provide the kids with all different types of learning experiences. I plan to really utilize the computers in a station situation where the kids can work at stations. Also, while I can work with small groups, and uh, kids can be working independently as well. At those stations, the kids might be working on drill and practice or a word processing program, or they might be creating slideshows. Um, I also plan to have the children in the classroom create a morning news show for the, whole, for the whole school to see. We have the capability of showing the programs on every television in the whole school. So um, they really have a lot of opportunities to create and develop with our technology. And I think that that will really broaden their minds and, and enhance creative thinking. We designed Annie Sullivan Elementary School to be a school that was not only looking forward but also something that we could implement on a practical basis right away. First of all, we looked at the computer, the data side of it. We wanted to have not only the ability to have a computer lab where we could bring a whole class of students, we thought it was very important that teachers would be able to take back uh, the instruction that they had performed in the lab and have students work in an individual classroom basis. We put in an overall network that connected every workstation in the school as well as uh, connections to outside the school. Teachers have individual portables that they can work with in their classrooms and three machines in the back of their classrooms. Our library has a library computer system that is fully integrated into the South Dakota library network systems, giving students the ability to reach out not only inside their own building, but into this community of Sioux Falls and the state. 
Also, we can use internet over the South Dakota Library Network to give students access to resources across the world. Another very important part of the communication aspect of it was putting a telephone combination intercom into every classroom. A teacher can call outside, have a regular phone in their classroom, as well as having intercom services up to the office. Combined with that, we have a voicemail and a homework hotline where students and parents can call and leave messages for teachers, and they can also hear a pre-recorded message from both principals uh, and the classroom teachers. Probably the last part that we want to talk about is the video component. Every classroom has a television and a VCR. Uh, we also have central VCRs and video discs that can be used by teachers and controlled from each of the classrooms. We have each of the classrooms hooked to central cable TV. And we also have separate channels for a in-house bulletin board and a way for television to be broadcast into each of the classrooms uh, from any location within the school. The PTA has been involved with the planning of Annie Sullivan from very early in its stages. We, we were asked to help with committee meetings and helping decide the policies and procedures for all activities here at the school. We were also involved with the, the touring of the school with getting parents, giving them the opportunity to be involved in, in seeing the layout of the school, the classrooms, even meeting some of the teachers prior to the, the starting of the school. Parents need to be involved in the educational process of, of the schools and their children in today's society. They, they have done that at Annie Sullivan and be given the opportunity to be come into the classrooms to help with special activities, with some of the one-on-one -on -one reading programs that they do provide. There is information that goes home weekly with the children and for the parents that they can respond to and contact the school to give assistance when needed. They can come to the many PTA functions that we do have here at the school. We have, um, have had an open house session and with very good response from the parents and wanting their children to, to have the best education possible. As a counselor at Annie Sullivan Elementary School, I maybe look at things from a little bit different perspective from some of the teachers. Um, some of the things that I think are really exciting about Annie Sullivan School would be uh, its location. Uh, Annie Sullivan is really close to Washington High School, and already in the three weeks of school uh, since we've started, we've had some cooperative efforts with the students at Washington and the students at Annie Sullivan, and I think that's an exciting opportunity. Um, I think it's just unique that Annie Sullivan is a high-tech school and it's a modern building, and yet in our backyard is a farm with a horse and an apple orchard, and that's kind of a, an interesting mix. Um, I see Annie Sullivan as bringing a lot of different things together. Um, maybe that mix uh, just in the neighborhood is, a, is kind of a good clue to what Annie Sullivan's like because we have a, a mix in people at Annie Sullivan. Uh, we have um, very high socioeconomic families. We have very low socioeconomic families. We have um, a lot of different cultures represented at Annie Sullivan um, in our student body. And I think that presents some exciting challenges and um, some real opportunities for us to see whether we can have a peaceful school um, where kids don't prejudge and aren't prejudged. Um, I think our school lends itself to opportunities for uh, bringing people together, uh, bringing neighbors in. We have the community wing, um, and I see that as a way to bring families in and, and as a counselor, uh, that's what I'd like to see happen, working with families, working with kids and their families, and I think we have the facility to make that happen. Um, I think Annie Sullivan might be kind of a microcosm of Sioux Falls right now, um, in that we have a lot of diverse population all coming together in one place uh, for one purpose, and that is to maximize, maximize learning. Um, we have everything there. Uh, 
set to help kids learn um, technology wise and I think we also have uh, a way of bringing people together at the school uh, to do some of the other things effectively that I'd like to see done at a school. The vision of Annie Sullivan Elementary School is to uh, be a neighborhood learning center that provides opportunities for all to learn, to explore, to create, and to develop. The mission of Annie Sullivan Elementary School is to foster a positive self-esteem, self-concept in the members of the school community, foster positive social skills, and enhance cognitive abilities and intellectual development. We want the products of our school system to be happy, pro productive citizens who are able to compete in a world market. The um, educational program at Annie Sullivan Elementary School is based on certain key foundation blocks. Part of among those foundation blocks are a belief that all children can learn, a commitment from everyone to employ strategies that meet the individual needs of students, partnership, collaboration, and teamwork, a commitment to make optimum utilization of learning tools available, a commitment to a positive school climate, and a belief that children are our greatest resources. I guess when we describe Annie Sullivan Elementary School, we want the description of our school to center around people. people working together to meet the educational needs of our, ch of our children.